Before we begin, please check out my Amazon affiliate link linked down below in the description box of this video. You can see a big old list of all the products and hardware that I use on a day to day basis, along with personal household items that I use and would recommend for you. And I'm constantly adding new products of things that I've personally owned and purchased myself and would recommend to my viewers make a purchase through my list and it does help support my channel. It should be no surprise that Kirk Cameron, one of the most disingenuous people or evangelists I've ever known, would make a semi-religious talk to people on the interwebs on why exactly hurricanes and natural disasters even occur. Religion is boring to me. Talking about religion doesn't really interest me. Religion to me, for the most part on this channel, is dead and has been dead. But every once in a while, someone, comes along and spews some of the most vitriolic, vile, disgusting shit in correlation with their personal religious beliefs. And when that happens, I can't help myself but respond. I, I had a thought this morning as I leave Florida. Uh, everyone's trying to leave Florida right now. Uh, Walmart is being uh, emptied of its shelves of water and canned food because Irma is on its way. And a friend of mine, Jay Younts, pointed out something really insightful and I wanted to share it with you this morning you know Harvey they say was a once-in-a-lifetime event because the destruction was unprecedented with that hurricane there's another one coming up that they say is now the largest recorded hurricane on the Atlantic this is Irma and the devastation from that we don't know uh, how, how much that's going to be but how should we look at two giant hurricanes coming back to back like this? Should we just, do, do we write them off as coincidence? Do we write it off as a, a statistical anomaly? Wow, uh, who, would have, who would have thought? Is it, is it just mother nature in a bad mood? I don't know how you think about it, but... You don't know how I think about it? Well, let me tell you how I think about it. So we had two, three hurricanes back to back all down around the same region about, which has never been recorded in history. And my response, I'll let you know my thoughts here, Kirk, is that climate change is a real thing. Hurricanes survive off warmer waters. Mother Nature isn't controlled by some sentient being who had a bad day or got a little bit grumpy because of all the ISIS killings and terrorist attacks, who just said, one day, I'm mad today. I mean, he did do that in the Bible, the, the flood, right? Did wipe off thousands upon thousands of innocent lives and people. Oh, right, those were, those were all sinners. Um, but to take this where you're going is so vile, is so distasteful and it makes me so happy that i left and i got rid i got i walked out of such a toxic barbaric way of thinking about not only natural disasters but things that occur in nature itself where innocent lives and thousands of innocent people are killed and many of those people instantly go to hell who never had the chance to hear the gospel i don't know if that's fair if you ask me thousands of people who don't get the chance to hear the gospel of jesus christ who ultimately die in an earthquake or a big old hurricane. And then your message turns into a message of love, of kindness, of, of courage, of, of power. I think it could be something much more than all of that. Uh, I'm going to look in, here in, in, uh, in God's Word and read to you from Job. In Job 37, uh, God says through Job, um, He saturates clouds with moisture. He scatters his lightning through them. They swirl about, turning around and around at his direction, accomplishing everything that he commands them over the surface of the inhabited world. He causes this to happen for punishment or to water his land and demonstrate his faithful love. One thing we know about hurricanes and, and, and all weather is that this is not Mother Nature in a bad mood. This is a spectacular display of God's immense power. Kirk, I have a question. If I let a big old fart out right now, is that a display of God's ultimate power? Anytime I see someone like this, like Kirk here, try to replace natural disasters, um, horrific incidents of thousands of innocent lives lost, with this political religious dogma of it ultimately comes back to God's underlying display of kindness. It's a complete contradiction, hands down. 
you can't argue that it is not a contradiction because I don't believe a truly loving God as the one the Bible claims to have would commit such atrocities. But, you know, in the Old Testament, he did commit such atrocities. But in no way can you ever justify killing thousands upon thousands of innocent people and then argue that that's a display of kindness. What kindness is eternal damnation of them never getting the chance to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ? And no, I'm not defending Christianity here. These are innocent people who were not Christians. Many of them had never even heard the gospel. So to use God as a means to just strike them down and kill innocent lives and take innocent lives for the sole purpose of showing kindness when they never got the chance to hear the gospel, to receive that kindness, to, to become a Christian, to go up to heaven, goes to show that God really doesn't really seem to care about the people or them worshiping him. He just wants to kill innocent people just for the hell of it, just to show how powerful he is. That's not someone who's kind. That's not someone who's nice. That's not somebody I want to be, uh, especially to develop a relationship with. To me, it sounds like that, that guy up in the sky is a bit abusive. If that's that's his display of power is to hurt other people. And when he puts his power on display, it's never without reason. There's a purpose. And we may not always understand what that purpose is, but we know it's not random. And we know that weather is sent to cause us to respond to God in humility, awe, and repentance. Kirk, seeing what you say here makes me not want to reach out to any sentient being. It makes me want to pull away. In fact, it's, it's people like yourself right now in this video that push me away from religion completely, that push me away from wanting anything to do with the church because of this type of barbaric, vile type of thinking. I don't know about all you watching this video right now, but did Hurricane Irma, did it make you want to reach out and connect with Jesus? connect with God. I'm asking my audience right now. Leave a comment down below. I want you guys to let me know if hurricane if you were if you were in Florida, if you experienced this hurricane to any degree, did it make you want to reach out and ask, repent and communicate with God? Again, uh, there's not a, a random molecule in the universe, I believe, but that God is the Lord of the wind and the waves. And what this should be doing for all of us is causing us to remember that it's God who supplies our life, breath, and everything else so that you and I would reach out to him. So think about that. Maybe share that with your kids. Yeah, no, I'm not going to tell my child that the reason hurricanes and the reason that earthquakes happen and the reason natural disasters happen in this world is because God is showing kindness. I will not do that. I would not want to instill fear into my child in any way. I will teach them how hurricanes are made. I will teach them about our environment and how our environment is partially con uh, contributing to uh, stronger hurricanes, stronger storms, stronger everything with the, the rise of climate change and the, the icebergs and everything melting up in the north and the south. I'm going to explain to my child scientifically why these things happen because there are scientifically answers for why these things happen. That's what I'm going to teach my child. Why any parent would want to make their child fearful of someone that they worship is beyond me and I think works against the cause that you're trying to spread. When they ask uh, why this is happening, uh, remind them that God is the blessed controller of all things. He's the Lord of the wind and the waves, and He is the one who gives us peace, security, and strength in the midst of the storm. And that He uses this to point us to Him and to His His care for us. God bless you. Uh, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm leaving Florida. I'm on my way to Arkansas right now. Kirk, I have a question. Why aren't you staying in Florida, man? Come on! You're Kirk motherfucking Cam- I said the F word. You're Kirk Cameron, man. You're Kirk Cameron. You can stay in Florida. You won't be hit by a hurricane. There's no reason for you to run. You are a believer in Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're a believer in Jesus Christ. You should be protected by biblical law just simply because you're a Christian. Natural disasters shouldn't occur to you. There's no reason to be afraid. There's no reason to run. You got the power of Christ on your side, man! I completely forgot about Kirk Cameron up until this point. I hadn't heard from him for so long. But this is one of the reasons I don't like Kirk Cameron. He's disingenuous. 
he's vile, and he says horrible, horrible shit like this. I believe this is actually hateful, what he said here. When thousands of innocent people are killed around the world from natural disasters, to respond with, this is God's judgment, that is hateful. That is vile. And personally, from my understanding of Christianity, that is the furthest thing from how Jesus would want anyone to respond to a situation like that. So, those are my two cents. Those are my thoughts. This is my response. Thank you for watching. I'm going to be having another video next week on why I do not like Sniper Wolf. Keep your eyes open for that. Check out all my links down below in the description, my Amazon affiliate links. Check me out on Patreon. But most of all, join my mother. Almost said the F word again. Join my Discord. It's very, very big. It's getting bigger. And I give out free video game keys every two weeks for my subscribers for absolutely free. Join it. Link down below. Till next time, thank you for watching this video and have a great rest of your Friday.